Hey everyone, before we get started with the video, I just wanted to say that I filmed this over three months ago, sometime in mid-February, back when everything was still open and before coronavirus had really hit the US. There was no lockdown at that time and it was before I, or anyone really, knew the importance of social distancing. I'm staying at home now and taking the necessary steps to protect myself and others, but I hope you still enjoy this video and it serves as somewhat of a distraction from all the crazy shit going on in 2020. Hey guys, so I am all packed and ready to leave. I'm heading to Williamsburg to go visit some friends at William Mary, my old stomping grounds where I graduated from, and then also going to Richmond to visit another friend who's there for grad school. So, it should be fun. I am all packed. Um, I have a lot of bags because I don't know how to pack light, but it's okay. All right, so I'm in the car about to embark on my long two and a half hour drive. Hopefully I don't die on the road. Okay, so I'm at a rest stop. Um, I'm kind of stressed because <laughs> I was driving on this road where there was some construction and I got stuck behind a work vehicle. I was a little too close and I couldn't see um, the traffic lights. Uh, so suddenly there was like a red traffic light and I ended up having to brake really aggressively like so aggressively to the point where my stuff flew off the seat here and my car made like this, these very scary noises um so i hope she's okay <laughs> like she drove fine after that but uh i don't know if i should get it checked out all right you guys so i made it and Hello. i'm here with hope she made it in one piece we're in the gradplex parking lot might get a ticket yeah don't call the cops on that us. is it's truly been a struggle it's only been like two hours of my trip and we're struggling but, but that's life we made it, we made it. adventure spice you know <laughs> there we go we're almost breaking it up. the car getting tickets hello, hello. iris has joined us Woo! we just came back from wawa which is like the best spot on campus, honestly. Wait, wait, fun fact, it is the most profitable Wawa on the East Coast without a gas station. Oh damn, I didn't I'm even sure. know that, but um, <laughs> there we go. Stats. This is no I longer a vlog, this is an educational video. <laughs> So we are trekking through the snow. the snow. It's such a struggle to find parking. So we had to park on some street. We're and now we're, Yeah, definitely. But uh, we're taking some risks out here. It's literally like December weather, snowing. Oh, it's so but cold. On the left here, you can see our senior year dorm. There we go, Ho House. So I have just woken up. It's almost 10 o'clock. Everyone else is still asleep, I think. I mean, at least they're still in their rooms, so. <laughs> but um, I'm just gonna steal some of Hope's oatmeal. She said I could, so it's not really stealing. <laughs> but I'm a hungry, hungry hippo, so I need some food and then I guess I will get ready for the day and we'll see where the day takes us. We are at the animal shelter. There are so many bunnies, oh my God. Look at these, they're so cute. My friends are in this cat room and 
I can't really enter because I am allergic. Hello? Hello? Iris is leaving me. I love you. Love you too. You're the snack that smiles fast. <laughs> Thanks, boo. So are you. Oh my, I'm flattered. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. Iris left for some, was it small group or large group? I don't know, shenanigans. Um, and I'm just chilling here with my neck pillow because I cannot sleep on my piercings. But Jay chilling, my makeup is ready. My outfit for a night out is ready. I just need to take the shirt off and the dress is ready to go. But just waiting for it to be time because it starts at 7.30. I'm going with Hope to her, um, her sorority's date party. So it should be a lit time. Okay, I am up and at them. I have changed, or not changed, transformed my outfit into the nighttime look. Um, Hope is still getting ready over here. Let's, uh, let's venture over. Okay, and we are ready to rumble. Here on the balcony, a brick we've house. never made it. We've we're never fucking. This I was about to say seniors. We're graduating. We've literally graduated. Apparently, it's like an iconic thing to take a picture Pictures. on the balcony it of is, the brick house, the but bar. It's so but we've never cold. done it, and, and we've graduated, and we're finally doing it. We're awesome. here. We're out here. We made it to the day party too. So it is now the next morning. We all survived the night last night. It was it was pretty fun. I feel like a lot happened. There was a a lot of shenanigans. I went to bed so late though. It was like 3:30 in the morning. I don't know how I'm alive right now, but it's okay. We're going to brunch. I love brunch. We're heading to brunch. Brunch. So far where <laughs> that was beautiful, y'all. Truly beautiful. It's lit. I could get lit to that. I'm about to head out in like 10 minutes, mm. heading to Richmond. Mm. I know, I'm gonna leave y'all, but so I gotta go see awesome. Benny. All right, y'all, it's time for me to head out. She's leaving us. <laughs> bye bye. So, so sad. Leaving us. Golden hour. <laughs> wow, wow, that's lighting though. Uh, how do people yeah. take golden hour pictures? That, like, I don't know. I feel like I always themselves. look sweaty. And also the blinding part. Goodbye Bye. vlog. I miss you more than Natasha. Literally. <laughs> I'm Hello guys. I made it to Richmond. Here's Benny. Hello. Yay. <laughs> it was a pretty quick drive. Only like an hour. And now we gotta go find parking. So that they don't tow me. But uh. Yeah. But now we're starting part two of this wild solo, solo kind of trip. So, haha. <laughs> we out here with Benny Lee and Tuna the Cat. 
Spilling tea while drinking actual tea. We are heading to work out. Yes. We never actually went out last night. I really just went Popped to take a nap and then <laughs> and then I was just like I'm done for the day. But oh true. But now we're gonna use this little gym. I haven't worked out in so long. Time to get my sweat on. Wow, Chef Benny in the house. <laughs> he has made this meal. I cut the apples. <laughs> but Benny did all the chefing. All right, so we are now post-workout and post-lunch, and we're heading to Libby Hill Park, which is this little hill area right here. There's supposed to be a really nice view of Richmond up there, so I'm excited to see it. We are in Libby Hill Park. Look at this view. It's so bright, but she's beautiful. It's a good day. <laughs> <laughs> wrong city, wrong city. But there she is. Oh, oh, sorry. Yes. There she is. She's grand. I mean, this is not grand. It's Maine. I can't do this. Outside the state capitol right now. There she is, very pristine, very white. <laughs> um, she's she's almost blinded in the sun. But yeah, so we're gonna head on in and see what she looks like on the inside. We are in the state capitol. Look at all this old historic stuff. This is where the House of Delegates used to meet and I still meet, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's a thing. Oh, here's a... How do I do this? Oh yeah. Look at him. He's just chilling. We just got out of the VCU, the Contemporary Institute Art Institute. Contemporary Art. Oh, Institute for Contemporary Art. <laughs> <laughs> can't, I can't get these names right. But <clears throat> this is the building. It was pretty cool inside. It wasn't a whole lot, but it was like good vibes, you know? I think now we're gonna head back, recharge, charge our phones and our bodies, um, and then eat food, and then find something else to do. I don't know. It's the end of my long journey. <laughs> Don't mind my crusty looking self and the giant pimple on my forehead. It's, I'm so ill now. I don't know why. Just, just not cut out for this lifestyle anymore. But hopefully I make it home alive. And I must say goodbye to Benny. Don't die on the way back. <laughs> I really hope not. <laughs> I feel so ill and so loopy right now. I go. All right, I am in the car and I'm gonna take my crusty self home. <laughs>
and lie in bed for the rest of the day and just wallow, not wallow, just marinate in my illness. Hey guys, so I returned yesterday actually, but then I forgot to film um, because I just wanted to lay down and watch uh, movies on Netflix. I was watching To All the Boys I Loved Before, <laughs> um, the first one again. But yeah, I had a really great trip. It was nice in the sense that it was a lot more peaceful and not stressful there because I remember when I used to go there um, and it was like all the stress and pressure of that school and all the schoolwork and just like my lifestyle there. I would always be so depressed and so anxious and so stressed being there. And sort of like going home was like my escape. It definitely was a little bit nostalgic to, to leave. It just sort of brought me back into that headspace of when I graduated and had to leave the school that was like my home for four years, it was like a place where I grew so much and learned so much and really made a home for myself and sort of met so many people, so many close friends, um, and it was, it was really my life for four years and then I just graduated and just, it's not anymore, um, which is okay, you know, like, life moves on and I I feel a lot better sort of being out of that school like in terms of mental health and everything and I'm like doing well it's just a little nostalgic and I just got a little bit emotional you know because it kind of brought me back to that time uh, other than that it was it was really nice and Richmond was also nice it was really fun it was a really cool city but yeah so thanks for watching guys um, and following along on this journey of mine and I'll see you guys in the next video